back at the makeover house. Remember how it used to look out here? Well, today I am very excited because we're turning this window into some doors. It's going to make the most of this amazing deck that we made over, but also bring the kitchen and dining outside. Yippa! If you're lucky enough to have what we have here today, that's your main living area leading onto this beautiful sized deck and a window blocking it, you can do what we're doing. And that's turning it into doors. As long as you stay within the opening, so you don't go any wider than these side bricks here and no higher than this lintel, anything below this is non-structural, which means you can cut it out. First up, I'm taking out the old brick sill. Then it's a matter of using a straight edge to bring the line of the existing window down so I can cut with the grinder. Now, it may look like this window is just floating here, but you've got nothing to worry about. It's supported by the timber frame on the inside. That's where all the structural work is. On the outside here, this brickwork is just the cladding, so it's fine for me to just take it off. A great tip is to do the outside work first. That way, all the brick dust stays outside. The garden's coming along nicely. <laughs> yes! Lucky last. All right, we're finished on the outside. It's time to get stuck onto the inside. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this window. To do that, I'm going to take off the architraves. That will expose the fixings. Then I'm going to cut them out and we'll drop the window to the inside and carry it out. You'll be right with this by yourself, mate. Of course. With the window out, we can see what we're working with. So just like the outside, I've got this edge and the edge down there that I'm just going to continue down. The only difference is it's easier to cut plaster than brickwork. <laughs> Or a lot of you might think, why isn't he just smashing it with the sledgehammer? Now, that would be fun, but it's not the best scenario here. After I've made the cuts, it's easier for me just to lever across the top, and you can see the whole sheet pops out as one. It's a lot neater and a lot easier too. Ooh, yeah. Thanks, mate. There is so much more light coming into this dining room area now. I'm so excited. And everything structurally is still the same. We literally just took the window out and took the wall out underneath. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to test it out. <laughs> Outside. Inside. Outside. I could do this all day. But unfortunately, I think we need something else. That's some doors. <laughs> Thank you. Before we install the doors, I'm just laying out some flashing because we want to make sure that we keep the rain outside and not let it come inside. Once this is down, I'm going to be putting in the door jams and then we can get onto the doors. Look at that. Fits like a glove and that's the benefit of having these custom made because they make them to the opening size, so it's a matter of just putting it in like we have and fixing it off. All right, this is the exciting part. It's time to put on the doors. One door down, three to go. The other benefit of getting it custom made is this has all been fitted before, so we're just assembling it on site now. All these doors are numbered, so we know where they go. You can see that it's pre-drilled, so it's a matter of just lining it up and screwing it off. Ah, Pablo é bravíssimo! All right, that's the last screw. Let's shut this back door. <laughs> Look at that. Lock her up. Looking good. Now, this gap here, you might think it's too big, but these doors can actually adjust in, so that's just a fine adjustment, but I'm pretty happy with that. This is a flashing that I put down earlier before we put in the jam. And what I'm doing now is just folding it up on the inside and that creates a tray. So basically, if any water does get underneath, it definitely can't get inside. And to finish these off, I've just given them a quick sand. And now I'm going over it with a teak stain. It looks fantastic. All right, the doors are stained. Now it's time to fit the architraves, which will close the gap between the reveal and the plaster. I'm just going to be cutting some 45 degree angles using the drop saw, which will allow me to picture frame it around our opening.
And I'm also adding a mortar style lock to make it secure. How nice is that handle? Now, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to get the plastic off these windows so we can see the big reveal. From a window to a set of bifolding doors. How good is this? Not only does it let all this natural light into this area now, but it joins two living zones, your dining and your entertainment space. That means one thing, it's party time! Break out the champagne glasses. Them. 